Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Today, we're diving deep into the world of hacking, specifically how those shady characters can hijack your social media accounts. We're gonna break it all down, step by step, so you can stay ahead of the game and keep your accounts locked down tighter than Fort Knox. Social media is everything these days. It's how we connect, share, and even do business. But that also means it's a prime target for hackers. So consider this your crash course in Cybersecurity 101. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. All right, let's start with the basics. What exactly is hacking? Hacking is a term that gets thrown around a lot, but what does it really mean? In the simplest terms, it's like someone picking the lock on your digital house. Imagine your computer or smartphone as a house filled with valuable information. Hackers exploit weaknesses in your software, your network, or even you as a person, to gain unauthorized access to your accounts and data. They can use various techniques, from phishing to malware, to get what they want. Think about all the personal information you have stored on your social media. Every post, every photo, every like and comment can be a piece of the puzzle for a hacker. Your name, your birthday, your location, your friends and family, and even your interests and habits are all there for the taking. Maybe even your credit card info. This is not just about losing money. It's about losing control over your personal life. It's a goldmine for hackers. They see your data as a treasure trove that can be exploited in numerous ways. They can use this information to steal your identity, drain your bank accounts, or even blackmail you. The consequences can be devastating and long-lasting. That's why it's so important to be proactive and learn how to protect yourself. Simple steps like using strong passwords, enabling two-factor authentication, and being cautious about what you share online can make a big difference. Don't wait until you become a victim. Start taking your digital security seriously today. So how do these digital ninjas actually get into your accounts? It's a question that baffles many, but the truth is, they use a variety of sophisticated techniques to breach your security. Let's break down some of the most common methods. Understanding these can help you stay one step ahead and protect your personal information. First up, we've got phishing emails that look legit, but are designed to steal your info. These emails often mimic trusted institutions, making it easy to fall for their tricks. Then there's key logging malware that records every keystroke you make. This means every password, every message, and every piece of data you type can be captured. Brute force attacks, software that tries millions of password combinations until it cracks the code. This method relies on sheer computing power and time, and social engineering, manipulation, and deception to trick you into giving up your personal information. Hackers might pose as someone you trust to gain access. These are just a few examples of the many ways hackers can compromise your social media accounts. Each method is unique and requires different strategies to counteract. But don't worry, we'll dive deeper into each of these methods in the following chapters. Stay tuned as we explore how to safeguard your digital life from these threats. Okay, let's talk about phishing. This one's a classic, and it's surprisingly effective because it preys on human psychology. A typical phishing attack might look like an email from your bank or social media platform asking you to update your password. These emails are designed to look legit, using official logos and familiar branding. But if you look closely, there are always telltale signs that something's fishy. Check the sender's email address and look for typos or grammatical errors. And most importantly, never click on a link in an email unless you're absolutely sure it's safe. All right, now let's talk about keylogging. This one's particularly scary because it's often completely invisible. Keyloggers are a type of malware that hackers can install on your device through various means. Once installed, the keylogger runs silently in the background, recording every single keystroke you make. That means every password you type, every credit card number you enter. It's all being captured and sent straight to the hacker. Keyloggers can be incredibly difficult to detect. Be extremely cautious about what you click on and what you download. Consider using a password manager with built-in keylogging protection. Let's talk about brute force attacks. This method is less about finesse and more about sheer computing power. 
Hackers use software that rapidly generates and tests millions of password combinations per second. If your password is weak or common, it won't take long to crack. A strong password should be at least 12 characters long. Include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. And please, don't use the same password for multiple accounts. If one account gets compromised, you don't want to hand the keys to your entire digital life to a hacker. Now let's dive into the human element of hacking social engineering. This is where things get really interesting and really scary because it preys on our natural tendencies to trust and be helpful. Social engineering attacks involve manipulating people into giving up information they shouldn't. Hackers might pose as a friend on social media or pretend to be from your bank's technical support team. The key to social engineering is building trust. Hackers might spend weeks, even months, researching their targets. Be extremely wary of anyone asking for your personal information, especially online. Verify their identity through other means and trust your gut instinct. Let's talk about one of the easiest ways hackers access your accounts. Weak passwords. Hackers know people are creatures of habit and they often target weak passwords first because they're the easiest to crack. Think about some of the most common passwords out there. Password 123123456 QWERTY. These are practically gift wrapped for hackers. Your password is the first line of defense against hackers. A strong password should be at least 12 characters long Include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. And don't use the same password for multiple accounts. Upgrade to something strong and unique for each of your accounts. Now let's talk about two-factor authentication, or 2FA. It's like adding a second lock to your digital door, making it significantly harder for hackers to break in. For those unfamiliar, 2FA typically works by sending you a unique code to your phone or email address when you log in from a new device. This code acts as a second layer of verification. Hackers have found ways to bypass 2FA in some cases, like through SIM swapping or phishing attacks. While 2FA isn't perfect, it's still an essential security measure. Enable it on all your accounts that offer it. Be aware of the potential vulnerabilities of 2FA and stay vigilant. We've talked about some of the most common hacking methods, but how do you actually spot these attacks in the wild? It's crucial to stay vigilant and aware of the signs that something might be amiss. Be wary of anything that seems too good to be true. Scammers often use enticing offers to lure you in, so always question the legitimacy of unexpected opportunities. If you receive an email claiming you've won a lottery you never entered, it's probably a scam. These messages are designed to trick you into providing personal information or clicking on malicious links. Pay close attention to the details, check the sender's email address, look for typos and grammatical errors, and hover over links to see the actual URL before clicking. Scammers often use slight variations in email addresses to appear legitimate. Be cautious about providing personal information online or over the phone. Always verify the identity of the person or organization requesting your details. Legitimate companies will rarely ask for sensitive information via email or unsolicited phone calls. If you receive such a request, it's best to be skeptical and double-check. If in doubt, contact the company directly using verified contact information. Look up the company's official website or phone number rather than using the contact details provided in the suspicious message. Trust your gut instinct and report any suspicious activity to the appropriate authorities. Your vigilance can help prevent further attacks and protect others from falling victim to scams. All right, let's wrap things up with some practical steps you can take to secure your social media accounts. Enable two-factor authentication on every single account that offers it. Ditch those weak, easily guessable passwords and upgrade to something strong and unique for each of your accounts. Use a password manager. Keep your software up to date. Be cautious about what you click on and what you download. Stick to reputable websites and always scan downloaded files with a reliable antivirus program. Stay informed about the latest phishing and social engineering tactics. So there you have it. We've unpacked the dark world of hacking, exposed the most common tactics used to compromise social media accounts, and armed you with the knowledge and tools to protect yourself. 
Staying safe online is an ongoing process. It's a mindset of vigilance, awareness, and proactive security measures. By staying informed and taking the necessary precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of hacking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity tips and tricks, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you in the next one.